Hey guys, welcome back to Clubhouse Kids. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what my preschoolers did for math today. Now we are using the curriculum just preschool math and this is a curriculum that I have created and I will link it below if you are interested in more information on it. We are working through unit three right now. Now if you are using my curriculum as well for preschool math, you will probably still be in unit two. My kids and I are just doing this a little bit quicker because our school year will actually end in in March this year because I am moving and so our curriculum has been sped up just a little bit faster we actually started this back in early August um, so we're a little bit ahead of what my normal scope and sequence would be so we are in unit three and this week we are talking about number nine and so I'm just gonna kind of share with what a typical preschool math lesson looks like so here is my lesson plans and there's always a lesson, like whole group lesson, and then three work boxes that the kids work through, and then a table activity, which is usually their math workbook. So here is one of my students' math workbooks here. So I'm going to just show you some clips of our whole group lesson. Sometimes I combine this into circle time, and that's what I did today. Other times, um, we'll do whole group at the table but today i did it with circle time and so i'm just going to show you how i just fit in um our math lesson today during circle time yeah i know i don't it's not fair that's okay we can use my marker all right ready i want to hear everybody counting one, one two, two three and then you tell me what number comes next. Ready? Three, four, five. Good, five. Nine, 10, 11. 11, good job. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three. All right, let's try it without pointing. Four, five, six, six. Five, six, seven. Seven. Good job. All right. When you came to Miss Holly's, what was the weather? No. Nine. Because the number that comes after eight is nine. <laughs> Do you think there are nine snowflakes on here? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There is. Should we all count together? You can take your socks off if you want. Okay, just, just put them on the floor right in front of you, okay? One, One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. In my cup, I have some snowflakes. Should we count them? Yeah. All right, as we count them, I'm gonna put them on our card. Ready? So count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Off our card? Yeah. Yep. Nine snowflakes. All right, let's put this on our board. Let's put it right there so everyone can see. Now, if I take away my eight and I put up nine, now we had eight marshmallows, right? Yeah. So now if I put nine, number nine on my cup, how many marshmallows do we need to add? Should we count them and yeah. figure out? Okay, ready? So how many do we have right now? One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Oop. So we only have eight and we want nine. So how many more do I need to add? Nine. Well, what number comes after eight? Eight, 
nine. Nine. So I'm adding one more. So we add one more marshmallow, okay? So if I put one more marshmallow in my cup, should I have nine? Yeah. Let's count. One, one two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, six seven, eight, eight, nine. Nine. Do you like this many marshmallows in your in your hot chocolate? Yeah. You like lots of marshmallows too? Yeah, but mm -hmm. my mommy mm -hmm. likes three of them because I'm three. Mommy lets you have three marshmallows because you're three? Well, that's okay. That's a good idea. All right, who saw my gingerbread house when they came to school today? <laughs> Let's do our math tubs. And then after circle time, um, you saw that I dismissed the students to math tubs. They complete three of those math tubs or math work boxes a day. And I'm going to show you what each of those were this week. Okay, so here is where I keep our math tubs. So the first six buckets here, this um, the green and blue ones are our table toys. The three math tubs here, these are the activities that I change out every week. And so these are what is in our math tubs for this week. And the first one is this little one, it's a magnetic game. And so they have to take the little magnet pencil and they drag the balls um, to the right number. So over here they would put one and so on in each of the stuff. I was really excited about this one. I thought they would really like this one. Um, today they were like, yeah, they were okay with it. So they played with it a little while. Um, and then I just told them, let's just pick two buckets and put the right number in and then I'll count them. But, um, they weren't as excited with this as much as I thought they would be. So that was number one. In box number two, they love this one. We have done this work box um, a couple of weeks ago when we first started our number six through 10. Some work boxes I repeat, some ones I do not. And then there's some Play-Doh and some, you know, Play-Doh tools in here. And they make the correct amount of cookies on each tray. Now, since we are doing number six through 10, I have cards for numbers one through 10. Um, but the first week we did it, it was way too many cards. And so this time around, I just picked three cards. Um, so it's not so overwhelming. So they get to, um, so this week we're making 10 cookies, six cookies and eight cookies. And so they love this one and would spend probably hours doing this one, especially my girls. They just, they're bakers at heart. This work box, this is from Learning Resources and they're counting elephants. And so they put the numbers one through 10 the elephants in order and made a line and then we drug the elephants around. They really, really like this one as well. And so those are just the three boxes that we do that we're doing this week. Um, once they're done with them, I switch them to a new math tub. And then once we've all just played in the tubs and are kind of done with them, we pick them up and then we go to table time. And we work in our math workbook. They love these math workbooks. If you're using my curriculum, you can just print these off individually um, to send home. But I like to make them a math workbook for each unit. Um, they get very excited about having their own math workbook and then at the end of every unit they get to bring it home and their parents get to see, you know, everything they have done for that whole unit and um, they just feel like big kids with this. So they love this and so today we just started number nine. Today they just got to color number nine. Tomorrow we will work on more writing number nine. They get to color nine snowflakes blue. I have a tin frame that we use stickers and currently we're using these stickers here. Um, so they're just a little more raised stickers and these are really fun. And so they'll put nine stickers on their tin frame, color number nine, and then down here they get to dot number nine. So each week has three activities. So then on Wednesday this week, they'll use a dot marker and they will find number nine and put a dot on number nine. And so the workbook are very, very simple activities. Um, does not take very long. Um, it just kind of reinforces what we are learning in circle time and our math tubs and different things that I put out into our play centers as well. If you're interested in this curriculum, you don't feel like don't feel like you have to do all the components. If you are more just play-based non-workbook group, um, you don't even have to do this part. You can still 
the kids can still get completely everything they need in all the other activities as well. Um, my group this year really does enjoy table time. And so we are doing the workbooks. Um, at the end of every math week, um, I always have a book. And so this week's um, book is going to be called 10 Sparkly Snowflakes. And so this is something that we will read on Wednesday as well as we finish up our number nine. And then next week we are going to learn about number zero. And then the week after that will be number 10. And then we'll be finalizing this whole unit, which is um, numbers six through 10. And then this will take us up to Christmas break. And then in January, we'll be starting in my unit four. So thanks for watching this video, you guys. I hope this gave you some ideas on how to do a preschool math lesson. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.